Hello there. Don't know what that was. Good evening. Happy New Year to everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Katrina, but Cat for short. And this is my first video I'm uploading, so a bit nervous. How are you guys? How are you doing with this pandemic? I hope you're doing well. Staying positive. Has it been a busy day for you? Busy weekend? What's the plans for tomorrow? I come here today just so I can introduce myself and do a question and answers. Um, the questions I got today was off Google, so I'll try and answer them as much as I can. I haven't got a social media platform yet for this channel, but I am hopefully going to get one set up soon, so when I do I'll pull it into the description box. And if you've got any questions for me, just let me know. Also, I'm going to do an unboxing. I've opened it, um, but I'm going to do an unboxing with you. So, my channel I want to do is some hauls, some question and answers, and my craft stuff. But anything else, let me know what you want to hear. I'll try and do as much as I can. But they are going to be my main three things. So let's get into it. So grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a Coke, a squash, water, a co coffee, tea, or even just an alcoholic drink. Let's get cosy. So, as I said, I'm going to start with some questions. First question, my favourite drink. So, on the soft side, I like lemonade, coke, squash and water. I'm not a hot drink kind of person. And alcohol, I love my amaretto with coke, with red bull. And I love my Southern Comfort too. I had one at Christmas and I felt so lightheaded after it. I haven't drank in a year because I was pregnant and then I was breastfeeding. So I only managed to have an alcoholic, my first alcoholic drink at Christmas. And oh my God, I felt like a young kid again. It was unreal. What's your favourite drink? Let me know. Next question. What do you hope never changes I hope that I don't really know it's really hard um because I know things change and sometimes they change for the good and sometimes they change for the bad but for me I just think me never changes so I'm always helpful or I try and help as much as I can. I don't want to be ran to the ground to the point that I change because that's how my mental stage gets me there. It's a bit of a weird question that wasn't a bit hard to answer but it does me justice I think. Next one. What are you... What are you absolutely determined to do? Sorry, I'm just reading the questions that I found on Google. I want to set up my own business. So while in lockdown last year, I got it back into my craft and stuff. And my mum gave me a sewing machine and I made my first face mask. To my first scrunchie. To my first turban headband style. And drawstring bags. And I loved it. It made me feel good when I was crafting. If I felt stressed, it made me feel brilliant. I did sell a few to a local, like to my friends, not local. And um, they adored them. But I really want to start it off as a business. I did get a cricket at Christmas, so I'm going to start doing some of my crafts again. Um, let me see if I've got a craft close to me. So I've made this for one of my friend's little boys. 
just normal glass and then I've done Buzz and Wizzy with You've Got a Friend in Me. He loves Toy Story. So I just thought, nice little gift. I know we all love that. So I'm hoping to get stuff like that. And in the box, I think I got the right thing. It's all resin as well. So I want to start looking into that as well and growing the business side of it. Next question. How different was your life one year ago? Well, one year ago, I didn't have a baby. I didn't plan to have a baby. It just happened, me and my husband. Um, don't get me wrong, I'll never change it because my little boy is everything to me. He looks at me and I just melt. He is the best thing that's happened and I want to see him grow and that's why I want my small business it means I don't have to go back to my normal one day job and I hope that by Christmas this year my business is up and running favourite YouTuber at the moment and why Um, my favourite YouTuber at the moment that when I log on and I see her videos, I jump on straight away. It's Faye J. She does a lot of hauls, money saving things with Aldi, Heron, Tesco's. And she's amazing. Like, she probably um, takes things to heart times. But when she talks to you on YouTube... She's so inspirational, like, she'll tell you that things will get better. Don't have to spend loads of money to make a present. Don't break the bank, kind of thing. And it's amazing. And when I'm having one of them bad days, I know I can log on her face, Facebook, YouTube, and, oh my God, I'm smiling at the end of it. Just want to say that. Thank you, Paige A. Please. I'll try and get link her page down below, but please go over and have a little look. Next question. Would I rather hang glide or white water rafting? Well, I would hand glide. Uh, I love heights. I like the adrenaline. But white water rafting doesn't terrify me, but I'm not a water person. I like to swim, but I get seasick. So the emotion of it will probably not do me good. I served in the Royal Air Force and I had to do sea survival training the one time. And oh, that's another story. But um, God, my head was hanging out of the raft being sick because seasickness didn't do me good. The speedboats were coming past to cause waves. Me, green as a... Green as I don't even friggin' know, but green. And I was not happy at all. Made me feel very, very sick. Number of pets and names. I've got six pets. I've got four rabbits, lion heads, absolutely beautiful rabbits. One's called Harry, one's called Bella, one's called Thumper, and one's called Rex. And the reason why we called him Rex is because never got a mane. Lion had to have manes, but Rex never did, and it was so funny. But she's a character, complete character. And then I've got two dogs. One Dutch Shepherd crossed with a Belgian male, and her name is Khaleesi. Loopy as ever. She's one years old, going on two. And she is as nuts as a box of frogs, really. She will entertain you all day if she had to. And, and I've got a... Uh, Husky cross with a German Shepherd and her name's Sasha. She's old now, she's about 12, 13 years old and all she wants is cuddles. She just wants to lie in the corner, have a little let nana nap. But of course with a pup, she doesn't normally get them nana naps all the time. What are the smallest things that makes your day better? Well, at 7 o'clock in the morning hearing your baby boy laughing across the monitor makes my day. 
means he's going to have a good day because he woke up happy. And when I go into his room, the smile just brightens up the room straight away and it's amazing. And I'll never change that. What do you hope your last words will be? My last words, if I could, and if I remember this but by the time that I'm on my deathbed, would be, see you la later and see you on the other side, bitches. What more can I say? <laughs> if you could make a 20 second phone call to yourself in the future or in the past, what would you choose? I had to think about this question and I think I would choose the past for me. I would call about December time in 2019 and just give myself a warning that 2020 isn't going to be amazing. Don't get me wrong, I had my little boy, so that was the good thing of 2020, but it's not amazing. The pandemic, what's it going to cause? Because I can't change nothing, it's going to happen. But just tell myself to stay safe. Yes, I know we were in lockdown, but at the beginning I was pregnant and a little bit my attitude was, if I catch it, I catch it, what more can I do? And I wish sometimes I didn't have that attitude. Don't get me wrong, it's a good attitude to have sometimes. But I didn't realise how bad it was until the numbers of the deaths were going and how fast it was building to. It was a reality. And at this moment, I just want to say thank you to everyone that worked through the pandemic, the military, the key workers like people in the shops, retail, the NHS, and again, anyone that worked. You put your life on the line to keep us with food, keep us healthy. And so thank you to you. And I mean you, anyone that worked, not just the NHS, not just the military, everyone that put time and effort into doing their job while the pandemic was happening. Thank you. So that's all my questions. If you do have any questions you want to ask me, just ask below. Um, I know I'm going to get it. Um, haters, people that don't like my content, I don't mind. But please don't troll on this account. I'll just block you. It's not fair. We're not here, or I'm not here to make your life's hell or anything. I'm trying not to bring you contact that you don't like, but I just don't want the hate. The negativity isn't the great. This year I just want to do things for myself and my family and I'm doing it. I wanted to do a YouTube channel, so I'm doing it. Things have put me off for years because I'm like, I can't do that. I haven't got the confidence. People's going to do this. But I don't. 2020 showed me sod it do what you want to do and i say that to all of you sorry i've got to wink in my eye so please stay safe listen to the rules and just have a good time when you can that's all pretty much i can say on that one so if you're already here please drop a heart emoji in the comments so i know you made it to this point and now we're going to open my box. I'm looking forward to this. So like I said, I'm a crafter. And I've been looking at resin, I've been watching the videos and I want to try it myself. So, this kit didn't cost me much. I bought some bits separately, but it didn't cost me much at all. So I'll show you what I've got. And if I can remember what came with the kit and then what I bought separately off the side of it. So, first of all, is the epoxy resin. 
I bought this one separately. Didn't come with the kit. I think I paid about £19 for this and you get the resin and the hardener. So I'm looking forward to that. I've got let me see, sorry. Jewelry casting mould in making DIY pack of four. These are separate as well. So sorry about all the rustle. I think these are like posters and like simple dishes. So you get different sizes. So this would be quite fun to try out. If you do see my dogs come round the camera, I'm sorry. I just haven't sorted out my room upstairs to do my filming, so I'm just doing it in the dining room. Um, next thing is the four piece silicon baking mold that you can use in resin as you're doing the research. So I've got this one and these are I'm going to plan to do like little keyring charms and earrings with so these ones are like butterfly snails ladybirds caterpillars I think so you can see that next one is fruit it's quite cute actually so you've got like cherries apples bananas grapes and pineapples I believe can you see Next one, these are a little bit bigger, but they, I think it's like of a little shape. So you've got hearts, sharks, I believe, dolphins, octopuses, starfish. And I'm not sure what that is, but again, another one. And then I, this one was my cutest one I loved. So this one is lions, bears, a Japanese cat, I believe it is, or a Chinese cat. A paw print and a hippopotamus. So there you go. Again, when when I do get my little business up and running, I will let you know. But at the moment, I do have an Instagram page for my little business that is postings on, and if anyone does want to buy anything, they can message me and I can do it. And that sparkle with Flipshaw. I'll try and link that up below. Um, also. Oh, double chin then. Um, I bought some epoxy resin colour art. The, these re resin pigments can be widely used on resin jewellery, resin jewellery, crafts, decorations, jewellery making, garments, accessories, and other DIY making. So there is 20 colours in this one. Love the right packaging. So there are the colourings. So this was the pack, um, I think I paid 15 pounds for this, I think, or 11, off mark, I don't know. So first of all, I've got two boxes, these have got like little, I would say little plastic fruit, like sprinkles, quite cute. And then I've got a set of glitter, so I can't wait to make these. I'll put that in the side of And then, in the other bag, I've got, sorry again about the rest thing. These I want to do the alphabet um, hearings, as you might have seen some people doing. Um, and stick it to the letters. And then numbers at the bottom. And then in here, there's a mix of things, I'm not going to get them out because they'll be like, so you've got like castle earrings, I think these are necklaces, you've got hearing hoops, earrings, and then like the tool to drill through, so that'll be amazing to try and do, so let me know if you want to see a video of me making these and I'll, I'll try my best. So that's everything tonight guys. Sorry it's not a very long video but I just wanted to come on, introduce myself. I don't look the greatest but I'm not going to be fake to you guys. I want to be real. So 
some wise words from Faye J is just be yourself, sod everyone else's opinion. I know it's so easy to be drawn in to that opinion sometimes, but you be yourself. If you want to do something, do it. If you fail, you fail. Just learn from it and carry on. I've had to learn that a lot of the times, especially when I was in the military. And just keep smiling. Wake up with a smile. Tell yourself that you can do it and believe it because you can. You are amazing. Just remember that. So, good night and I'll be back soon.